right now, so cool. We're rushing, what are we rushing for? We gotta get going with the race. We gotta get some more animals. More animals. Do we need more animals? Yes! Surprise on the homestead. We found we found Sheep. something that we're interested in. Sheep. So we rushed yeah. home from church Sheep. and yes, trying to finish lunch so we can run and go look. Well, do you have grit? <laughs> we are headed to look at something special. Yay! It's one of those rash decisions again. What do you say? Well, it's something we've been talking about for a long time, but. I guess just to get it to the point of uh, coming to fruition, it's kind of rash, don't you think? He's gonna get me some pets. No, pets that we can eat, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we've got that 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 paddock done. So what do you think? I mean, I know we got to put one post right there at the end to tighten it up, but what do you think? Uh, hopefully they won't try to get out. Yeah, I know, really. It's, I'm gonna be a little nervous, really, the first first time. Okay. And if we need to put them closer to the house, I mean, we have that other net, we can eventually move them this yeah, way. Yeah, I don't know if I'm more worried about something getting them or them getting out. I think I'm really um, worried about them. We're, I feel like we're going to have to definitely put Hattie Mae in there, which makes How do you me think they're going to act? All the other animals, oh, they're going to be crazy when they first get here because just like it was with Elsa, they don't know us, they don't know our property, they're going to be taken away from their moms. So it's going to be nuts. <laughs> um, but I do feel like that we are in the woods. Um, I just feel like they're little. So I feel like we need some type of protection. Now that's gonna expose the chicken coops and everything else, but. Don't need another dog then. The sheep were not cheap. 
So I do think that Hattie Mae will help protect them. All right, got that set up. Time to go back home. You see how much water we have. This is usually a dry creek bed and it's only flowing during certain times of the year. And it's absolutely flowing like crazy. So. We gotta move the chickens too, Mitt. Off that area right there. Right now? No, not right now. It's getting too late, girl. Huh? All I can move. Well, I can move them. I don't know if I can move the whole net by dark. Cluck Mobile is doing good, the Cluck Wagon. Why are they still Do you want to go ahead and move them while they're in? Uh, you don't have a door on the front? They ripped it off. Or the pigs oh, ripped it off. The pigs got in it one day and ripped yeah, it off. So it. That's what it is. We'll wait because I need to get that door back on there. That's right. I forgot they... I could move it back or up. Let me at least move it and that way... I mean move the, the Cluck Wagon over there in the fresh grass and get some of this to where we're spreading their manure, their manure load out, okay? You know, I might move it over there in the corner. Yeah, but that manure load is getting dropped right there, so I'm gonna go and move that right quick. This could eventually be more pasture, really. Take this all in. You sure you don't think we should go ahead and move the net while they're all in there? I don't. It'd be too late. Okay, so last chore of the night, I got to move the cows back over, get them away from the baby. So we can have the milk tomorrow. Can you help me do that right quick? Sure. Oh, yeah. What is that face for? Today I went and picked the grass, bundled the grass, and took it to Elsa. And she was eating it up. And she stood there for like 30 minutes and just let me pet her, rub all over her face and her head and her back. And then Allie, yeah, I was out right there petting Elsa. And Allie got mad. She come over there. She's trying to do her horns at me. Now, her on her nose. She ran off, but Elsa, she, was sweetheart. she had gotten to the point where she didn't want me to come around her very much, especially right after she had her baby. But I guess I just, she was missing her treats. And when she first home, that's what I would do. I'd go out and just get handfuls of grass, pick fresh grass and just get a bundle and just take it to her. And she did amazing today. She just stood there and let me pet all over her. She loved it. The baby but, didn't hurt tonight. But it took me giving her a treat. Well, we usually I usually have a, a uh, not that I feed them, but sometimes when I walk them over, I have their bucket of alfalfa so they know that they need to walk. So we're gonna do that without the alfalfa since I got a little help. First, me doing it by myself. So let's move them. We're gonna call them tonight, and uh, it's been a fun little afternoon. Got some stuff done. Need to get done. Move some pigs that got a, it was a lot easier than we we kind of really really yeah, anticipated. I was a little right? nervous at first. <laughs> I thought they do good because they, they know feed and, you know. They did do good. For that to be their first time to walk out of that pen, I was very, I was very pleased. Now, we've moved our pink pigs. You know that. You've seen that. But American Guinea Hog, we've, pretty much, never been out of that we've pretty much kept them there. Except for the time that they escaped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they were That's when they were piglets. That's when we first got them. All right. So, we're going to wrap this video up. God bless you. I was going to say about I know. We're going to do that at the end. Happy, Happy homesteading, y'all. Happy homesteading, y'all. Thank you.